Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe and watch my other videos. They're pretty interesting. It's here, finally, and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. It's called divorce insurance or marriage insurance, whichever you like to call it. So, if a man gets married and the wife cheats on him, divorces him, and then tries to take half of his funds, of course, because somebody thought that that was a fantastic idea to uh, steal money from the man, he gets a big, huge payout from the insurance company after the divorce is final. Now, at first I thought this was just one company, but after researching, all the major insurers in the United States are now all jumping on it. They're calling it divorce insurance. The original people called it marriage insurance. You know, this is how business really works. You come up with a fantastic idea. You find a hole that is needs to be filled. And then the big, huge companies do it for you, you know, or before you, or they squish you like a bug or whatever. The original company is still seeking investors. Anyway, they have actuarials, which who are able to predict your percentage chance of getting divorced based on your family history, uh, the vor divorce rate of your mother, father, aunts, uncles, cousins, what have you. They actually have actuarials. So actually, so that's a fantastic job to have. Every insurance company needs actuarials and anybody who does actuarial uh, calculations uh, can work for all sorts of corporations. So that's a really fantastic uh, field to go into. Now, if you are married and stay married for 25 years, you still get a payout. So let's say the woman, you know, divorces you and she's after your money, right? So she divorces you. And so she gets that $100,000 payout. Boom. There you go. You go to the insurance company and you get your $5 million or 1 million or whatever you signed up for and have been paying premiums on. And the court cannot touch it nor rescind it nor do anything to it because it has nothing to do with the court unlike prenuptials which women's attorneys very often challenge and get rescinded yes they signed a prenuptial contract and in the united states of america supposedly contract are supposed to be the holies of holies that's why we have a legal system that's why we have judges to uphold contracts you thought the judges were there for something else no they're there to uphold contracts the citizens are supposed to go about their business and live their lives the original intent for courts was to uphold contracts it wasn't about criminals it wasn't about anything else it was just to uphold contracts a prenuptial agreement is a contract there is nothing there is absolutely no reason why the state should even be able to rescind a prenuptial agreement, a prenuptial contract. There is nothing in the contract that's illegal, but women are getting it rescinded by judges who are, of course, unscrupulous, should not be on the bench because it is a contract and that's what you're there for. You're supposed to enforce contracts. That's why people get their wages garnished and all sorts of things get, get their possessions taken. That's what the banks do, right? You signed a contract for a mortgage and they get the house. If you rescind the, if you breach the contract, there is nothing in a prenuptial agreement that's illegal and it should 100% be upheld, especially with the woman signing it. But the judges are rescinding the prenuptial contracts. So now we have marriage or divorce insurance. There is nothing the judge can do. And you get your fantastic payout if this vindictive woman who didn't do anything for you, there is, should be no reason that a woman should get anything from you for you going to work for 20 years or whatever, how many years you've been working, 20, 30 years or whatever. And she should get half a million dollars and, and she gets 
your seat on the board or your position as CEO. I've, I've heard, I've heard outrageous things. They're granting women seats on the board of directors for getting divorced. It's outrageous. She never went to work. She has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with her. And for those women who say, but, but they were in it to get, no, that is not what divorce is about. That's not what marriage is about. Marriage is so that you can have children, not build a nest egg or anything like that. But most, more than likely, the, the, the nest egg that you're talking about is for the children. So if you have a husband that has worked all his life and created a hundred thousand dollars, which is nothing, that hundred thousand dollars is intended for the children. So you get divorced and literally you're stealing from the children that you had because now the children don't have a hundred thousand dollars, right? Because you're now going to go spend fifty thousand dollars on yourself, right? That's what you're going to go do. You're going to split up the house. So now there's, you know, the, we're talking about, let's look at the future. You're going to split up the house. You're going to get a house of your own, pay the mortgage on it. You're going to buy your clothes or food, what have you. The hundred thousand dollars was sitting there for the children. So they didn't have to buy a house or anything like they're supposed to get the house, the hundred thousand dollars, the savings, everything. That's it's called inheritance. But somebody has convinced you that you uh, are you in your selfishness of selfishness need to have fifty thousand dollars of that hundred thousand dollars that was intended for your children or maybe it's his children from somebody else and you need to spend it on yourself instead of creating a long-lasting legacy you're probably getting divorced for something stupid to begin with right oh he doesn't pay attention to me whatever anyway uh, now men can get divorced and not worry about all of their life savings being plundered by the courts, the lawyers, the police, the state, the county, the city. Yeah, that's what happens. People don't realize that. You know, everybody, when, when you get divorced, everybody has their hand out. Everybody. And they're all going to get a piece of theirs before you get a piece of yours, young lady. That's what happens. Yeah, I know you see MTV and MTV says, you're going to get half. You're probably going to end up with $10,000 if you're talking about $50,000 because everybody's going to, oh, you need to pay all these debts off. You need to settle all of your accounts before we rescind the marriage corporation that you formed when you went to the state and got a marriage license. So now the man doesn't have to worry about that. It's called marriage insurance. Go look it up. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.